Hello everyone. Welcome to Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. It provides real education. I'm Srinivas Reddy. I'm a director of this Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. As we all know that Rainbow Pharma Training Lab have three branches. One is at Hyderabad and second one is at Bengaluru and third one is at Vizag. Today in this video, I'm going to explain how we provide this HPLC training by using of Empower software. Because every day we used to get a calls and asking about this HPLC training. So over the phone, it is very difficult to explain detailedly how exactly we providing this Waters HPLC training with Empower software. So if you go through this video, you people can easily understand and detailedly understand how we providing this HPLC training at all the branches. So we are offering this course for pharma freshers as well as pharma experienced people. Generally, you know, pharma experienced people, they used to tell us, sir, we have four years, five years of experience in pharmaceutical industry in so-and-so company. But if I want to change the another company, if I go to the any interview, the interview is asking the more about this handling of this HPLC. But unfortunately, from past four years or five years, I'm operating only wet analysis. Even if I ask my team leader, even if I ask to the company people, they are not allowing me to operate this HPLC, sir. Due to lack of this knowledge, due to lack of handling of this HPLC, we are losing very good opportunities in the market, sir. That's the reason we want to take a training in Rainbow Format Training Lab. That is the first case we used to get it. And the second case, like, sir, we have almost 8 to 10 years of experience in quality assurance and regulatory affairs, sir. But straight away, we start our career with QA and RA. But now we are reviewing the analytical data. But unfortunately, we are unable to do the, that reviewing the data effectively because we did not handle the HPLC. We did not perform the validation. We did not perform any test in quality control. Straight away, we start our career QA and RA. So we want to learn more about this practical handling of this HPLC, sir. So will you provide that HPLC training? So we get different, different cases from the market. So try to understand that this institute was started in 2011. And I have 13 years of experience in the market. I have seen many different, different cases. So based on their requirement, based on the market requirement, we develop very effective courses in Rainbow Pharma Training Lab, especially for handling of this HPLC. So first, I want to tell you that how we design a course for the pharma freshers. And after that, later, I'm going to explain that how we design a course for the pharma experienced people. Because the difference between the freshers and as well as experienced people, fresher can come every day, fresher can come anytime. But whereas experienced people may not come every day, may not spend more time in the in-stores. Because you know that in the pharmaceutical industry, there is a very hard timing. So even though they don't get a time for the eating of the food, but how we can how they can manage the come to the institute every day. So that's the reason we develop a very effective courses for the pharma freshers and as well as pharma experienced people. When they get a time, they can come down and they can take a training in Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. So like that, we develop the courses. First, I want to tell you about the pharma freshers. So pharma freshers, we design a course. The duration of the course will be, it's a 30 days, try to understand. So what is the course duration for the freshers? It's a 30 days. Every day, the student is supposed to come to the institute around three hours. So in these three hours, First 10 to 15 days, we are going to conduct some theory classes. Theory classes in the sense, we are not going to teach anything about the academic part. We are going to teach something about the pharmaceutical industrial knowledge. If you want to operate this HPLC, first you should know the basic fundamentals of how these functions work. You should know that what is the role of the degasser. You should know that what is the role of pump. You should know that what is the role of detectors. And you should know that how many types of columns we have and how the companies are getting separation. So that we are going to teach. We are not going to teach something related to academic. Try to understand. And also I want to teach you something related to system suitability parameters. And also I want to teach you something about the troubleshooting. Troubleshooting in the sense, if you get any problems in the HPLC, I should tell that what are the steps you need to follow. And also I want to teach you something related to GLP. GLP means good laboratory practice. You should know that before operating of this instrument, you should give the logbook entry. And before using of, uh, you know, this instrument, you should check the status of the calibrations, try to understand. So these theoretical part, entire the theoretical part, what are the theoretical part is required to operate this HPLC that I'm going to teach you approximately 10 to 15 days theoretical part. After completion of these theory classes, the trainer brings you into the laboratory 
and the trainer is going to explain about this hardware of HPLC and as well as software of HPLC. Honestly speaking, I don't want to, I don't accept that if somebody say that I'm going for HPLC training because if you see that this is HPLC is a hardware and if you want to operate this HPLC, you should operate it through the software. That means only 10% you should learn about the HPLC, almost 90% you should learn about the software. I'll give the generalized example. For example, if you want to operate the TV at a 4 homes, we don't operate TV directly, right? We use the remote to operate the TV. So if you want to learn how to operate the TV, you don't, you need not to learn the TV directly. You should know that how to operate the remote. Same way, if you want to operate this HPLC part, you should learn how to operate the Empower software because generally we don't come, we don't stand in front of the HPLC, we don't operate here anything. So if you want to operate this HPLC hardware part, you should know that how to operate the software part. So better to call, I'm going for the software training. If someone is asked that which software, you can say that Empower software instead of telling of, you know, HPLC training. Honestly speaking, for example, if I give a sample to you and I say that perform the HPLC, perform the HPLC test, how many times you touch HPLC, you know, only four times. I'm really telling you, you touch this hardware part only four times. Remaining all the time, you sit in front of the PC and by using a FEMPO software, you should perform the test. That means I'll tell you that, for example, if I give a sample to you, so, you know, I said that you, you have to touch this hardware part only four times. I'll tell you that when you touch the HPLC. The first one, when you keep the mobile phases at mobile phase reservoir, you know that if you want to perform the any test by HPLC, you should prepare the mobile phase according to the method. Yes, and once if the mobile phase is over, if you prepare, you touch the first time HPLC to keep that mobile phase here in this mobile phase tray. Yes or no? So before starting of analysis, you should replace the solvents and you have to keep the mold with that time you touch the first time. And second time when you touch the HPLC, you know, after preparation of your standard solutions and sample solutions, you have to keep that solutions in the sample tray. This is the sample tray. So you have to take it the sample tray out and you have to keep the HPLC sample solutions and standard solutions in the tray. And if you know that this is the HPLC vial, that the capacity of the HPLC vial is a 2 ml. So that means once after preparation of standard solutions and sample solutions, you have to make, uh, you have to fill this HPLC well and you have to keep it in the, this HPLC tray, sample tray. So this is the second time you touch the HPLC and third time when you touch the HPLC, you know, you after keeping of standard solutions and sample solutions, you have to fit the column. This is the column woven. So you have to take it, this column out and you have to take, according to method, you have to take a column and you have to fit the column properly. That is the third time you touch the HPLC and remaining the part is over only fourth time. That means you have to ready the system. That means you have to do the priming, basic steps, the priming. The second you have to go for the needle wash or seal wash or patch injector. So a few steps are there to ready the system. That means you touch this HPLC hardware only four times. I'm really telling you the first when you keep the mold phase, second when you keep the standard solutions and sample solutions and third you have, when you keep the column and fourth to ready the system. That means a few steps are there, I say that. Priming, patch injector, needle wash, seal wash, that you should learn from here how to do it. That means you touch only four times. Remaining all the time you sit in front of the software and remaining all the operating of this HPLC, you are going to inject the HPLC, yes, and you are creating a method and all the things through the software. That means you should learn the more about the software, not hardware part, I'm really telling you. So better to use instead of telling that I'm I'm taking training in rainbow formatting lab, better to tell that I'm taking training software training. If someone is asked the question, which software are you learning? You say that Empower software. It sounds great. I'm really telling you. Because, you know, uh, because you spend more time in front of the software, not in front of the hardware. Try to understand. So you understand that, especially for freshers, first 15 days we conduct a classes, theoretical classes. I say that after that, the trainer bring you into the laboratory and, and I'm really telling you, whereas in Hyderabad branch and Bangalore branch and, uh, you know, Vijak branch, all the classes is taken by me only. So it is a common course. What are the uh, systems we have? If you have, if you see in Hyderabad, so what are the video you are making? This is in Hyderabad branch. We have water system with Tempo software. If you go to the Bangalore also, we have water system with Tempo software. If you go to the Vijak also, it's a water system and Tempo software. 
So the classes are all are taken by me only. It is the same course. It is not going to change the branch to branch. Try to understand. Software is the same. System also same. I'm really telling you. So try to understand that. First 15 days we conduct the classes. And after that we bring you into the laboratory. And the trainer is going to explain, uh, you know, hardware, hardware steps, which I said. And remaining time, she, she is going to, the trainer is going to explain about the, this uh, software training. So it takes nearly, you know, two, three, two to three days to explain. After that, we give us some time to practice of that software and a few 10 steps are there. The trainer is going to explain how to perform those 10 steps. So what you have to do? You have to come every day. You have to practice those steps. Once if you are ready, if you, are, if, you are, can, if you understand those 10 steps, if you can perform those 10 steps individually, then we give a sample to you to perform individually uh, test by HPLC. Try to understand. That means first 15 days is the theoretical part and the remaining, uh, you know, if you come to the lab, the trainer bring you into the laboratory, the second five days, she is going to explain about the completely about the, this uh, hardware part and software part. We give a five to six days to practice it. Once if the practice is over, then we give a sample to you to perform this entire the test. In that test, you only prepare the mold phase, you only prepare the standard solutions, you only prepare the sample solutions, you only prepare the instrument method, you only prepare the sample set, and you only run the sample set, and you only calculate the results. End of the time, you have to give the results to me. That's a very important point. So I'm honestly speaking, after completion of the course, I used to ask each and every student in the rainbow. So if I give a sample to you, can you handle the, can you operate the HPLC individually without any supporter? If you say, okay, then your course will be complete. And end of the course, we conduct a one mock interview. You know that in, in Rainbow Former Triangle, we don't conduct any exams. We don't want to do the same mistake which education system is doing. We want to conduct a mock interview. Once, if you clear that mock interview, definitely we issue the certification from the Rainbow Former Triangle. This is about the freshers. So I say that 30 days, 15 days is the theoretical part. That class is taken by me only at all the branches. So remaining five days, the trainer is going to explain about the hardware part and software part. And remaining five days, you, we allow you to practice that hardware part and software part steps. And last five days, you are going to perform the test individually in Rainbow Former Training Lab. This is about the freshers. So coming to the experienced people, course is same, content is same. But only the thing is that, whereas experienced people, it is very difficult to come every day. That's the reason we develop the courses for the convenient of experienced people. So if we have a shifts, I'm talking about the experienced people. If you have your shifts, like A shifts, B shifts, or C shifts, whenever if you get a time, three hours per day. If we have a shifts, I'm talking. So because there is a two, two categories. One is having the shifts. Some people, they don't have the shifts. Only they, they, have, they used to go to the company every day, general shifts. I'm talking about the who have a shifts. So those people, if possible, if they can come down to the three hours per day. For example, if you have a shift, you can come down evening time. So if you have a B shift, you can come down morning time. Two days A shift, two days B shift, two days C shift. So let us examine what I'm saying. Whenever if you get time, so every day, if you ready to come every day, three hours to the in-store, the course is same. It is not going to change. First 15 days theory and remain second uh, five days, you know, practical training. Yes or no? The remaining five days we give you for practice. And for last five days, you are going to perform the test practically. And we conduct a mock interview. If you clear the mock interview, we issue the certificate. This is about who have a shifts of the pharmaceutical industry. Yes, coming to the second case. For example, if you don't have any shifts, let us assume that. So you are going to company every day in the general shifts. So it is very difficult to, to come down every day, you know, three hours to the institute while if you are going general shifts. For them, we develop a course on weekly offs. Let us example, whenever if you have weekly offs, let us example, assume that your weekly off is Friday. Let us assume that. So you just come down every Friday from morning 9 o'clock to evening 4 p.m. So if you come down like that, the course duration will be around, it takes two and a half months. That means totally 10 weekly offs. If you are the weekly, if you have a weekly off on Sundays, you are supposed to come to the institute exactly 10 Sundays from morning 9 o'clock to evening 4 p.m. If you come like that, a few Sundays, like you know, a few weekly offs, we conduct some theoretical part. Course is same, content is same, it is not going to change. Try to understand. Only the difference is that the duration is going to change. So a few Sundays, weekly offs, you just be then we conducted some theory classes. 
and after that we bring you to the lab and the trainer is going to explain about the hardware part and software part and after that we allow you to practice once if it is okay then we give a sample to perform but i'm i'm really telling you this course is developed very effectively so this course apt for pharmaceutical experience people as well as freshers and this is about the entire program about the rainbow pharma training lab experience training so thank you thank you very much for watching of this video still if you have any doubts you can contact me directly i think you have my number so double nine it's a double nine four nine five nine six nine double zero whenever if you have any doubts any queries just touch with us through the you know whatsapp you just send a message me definitely i'm going to whenever if i get time i'm going to reply you thank you thank you very much